So this is my first time doing these top something wanted things for insert upcoming official episode videos. So I just wanted to give my top five most wanted things for the rematch of all rematches. And that this match in particular means so much to me and I want to give it the justice it deserves. Also, yes, I said five wanted things because I technically couldn't think of ten wanted things that would be on a greater scale than the five ones I had in mind. So without any further ado, let's get on with the list. Number five. I want this score to be godly. Now I know realistically that could imply to any other score for a match, but I feel like this one has the most potential to actually be one of the best sounding scores they have ever done in Death Battle history. Because there is so much material to use for the OST. Like for the upbeat action parts of the fight, you can reference the field battle from Breath of the Wild and the battle theme from either the original Final Fantasy VII or the remake. If it's not the battle themes, you could reference those awesome fan songs that people have made for Legend of Zelda and Final Fantasy that are loved by the community, like Hero of Our Time and Slay for Honor. could go on and on, but you probably already get my point for this category. There is endless potential you can do with the score of Link vs. Cloud to make one of the most legendary soundtracks in death battle history. Number 4. I want the arena and the setting to feel thematic. Something where you could see Link and Cloud fighting if they ever did fight in a crossover between Legend of Zelda and Final Fantasy. Because it would feel very unfitting if Link and Cloud fought in a bar or in a snowy mountains or stuff like that. When a appropriate setting would be like a large slash small village or a kingdom battlefield or grassy lands. Areas like that, that Link and Cloud have been in before. So for a match like this, the arena has to be an arena that fits for both characters in the setting. Number three, have Link and Cloud actually get justice. What I mean by that is that the research actually represents and treats Link and Cloud 
accurately, or at least logically. The first round between Link and Cloud did not portray both characters well at all, even back then. Most notably was the claim that every Link is the same Link in one body, which is just not accurate. While yes, all versions of Link share the same name, same main weapon being the Master Sword and Shield, but story-wise, they are not the same. I would cut them a bit of slack because that was them in their early years when doing the whole research thing for Death Battle, but even back then, I wonder how they thought that was accurate when it never was. So I, I would like to see them rectify the mistakes that they got for Link and Cloud. Since Link's spirit had been reborn over and over, technically that means most Links are kind of the same guy. It's a real Link to the past. <laughs> <laughs> Because the way I see it, what they'll most likely do for both fighters is for Link, they'll either tackle Breath of the Wild Link, since by this point that version of Link has three games that they could work with, or if they're going to composite Link, then they'll mainly focus on the three strongest versions of Link, those being Breath of the Wild Link, Skyward Sword Link, and Twilight Princess Link. Those are considered to be one of the strongest iterations of Link. And for Cloud, they are most likely focused on the whole Final Fantasy VII lore. So from Crisis Core all the way up to Advent Children because by this time both Link and Cloud have gotten way stronger since 2012 which makes things a lot more closer than before. Number two, make Link and Cloud go all out. Kind of like what I said a moment ago, give both combatants their maximum capabilities that they are known for. Give Link his best weapons and abilities he gets. And for Cloud, have Cloud fight with his two best weapons, the Buster Sword and the Fusion Sword. Give him access to his Materia and the Life Stream. Make him be able to cast his summons and let him pull off his Limit Breaks and his level 5 limit break. Make them go all out that they are capable of. Have them push each other's limits to the max. Let them do what they've been known for in the series. And also give some nice callbacks to the 2012 battle of Link and Cloud. To show how far they have come since the first round. Kind of like what Nemesis said in his video. Seeing as the Hylian Shield is explicitly breakable in Breath of the Wild as well, you could have a really cool moment where, if Cloud wins, you could have him do the Omni Slash version 5 and Link tries to block it like he did in the original episode, but this time his shield cracks with each hit until eventually it completely shatters and Cloud is able to go for the final blow and slam Link to the ground. Hopefully without Link doing the cloud face plant. And finally, my number one most wanted thing. I want to see for Link vs. Cloud 2 is to have Torian animate Link vs. Cloud 2. Now hear me out. Why this is number one on my list is not because of how cool the fight will be, but it's to show how far Death Battle has come in its 3D animation. Because the first ever 3D fight that Screw Attack has ever done was Link vs. Cloud. And for the time, it was decent. But you can tell it has aged since then. Because, again, it was their first time ever doing 3D animations. And ever since Link vs. Cloud, Death Battle has progressed in quality. And that is all thanks 
Tutorian, a man who has brought us such amazing animations like Deadpool vs. Deathstroke, Boba Fett vs. Samus, Iron Man vs. Lex Luthor, Snake vs. Sam, Wolverine vs. Raiden, Goku vs. Superman 2, Dante vs. Bayonetta, Hulk vs. Doomsday, The Megazord vs. Voltron, Balrog vs. TJ, Thor vs. Wonder Woman, Ryu vs. Jin, and his best animation by far, Virgil vs. Sephiroth. All of these matches have been regarded as having stellar animations. And it's all thanks to one man who has a passion for animation. A passion to make fights as amazing as it is. Pushing its limits to produce a fight that would be remembered for ages. And that's all from Torian. Which, sadly, I can't say for the newer 3D animators. Because aside from Devil Artemis, none of them captures the fast-paced, action-y feel that Torian did and was known for. And keep in mind, it's not to say there hasn't been great ones since Torian. Weiss vs. Mitsuru, Dragon Zord vs. Mechagodzilla, Ganondorf vs. Dracula, All Might vs. Mike Guy, Goro vs. Machamp, Obi-Wan vs. Kakashi, Hulk vs. Broly, and Blake vs. Mikasa have been stellar in terms of animation. But the problem I feel is that none of them feels like in real time. Because what made Torian's animations so amazing it's because everything f was slash felt like it was in real time. Everything looked like it was happening all in one setting. And I think that's also because Torian did motion capture in his animations to pull off that real time feel as well. And I want to see that return for Link vs. Cloud 2. I want to see Torian to animate this fight in the style that he does, even if it's just for one time. Because his last ever animation was back in 2018 with Optimus Prime vs. The White Gundam. And while that fight came out spectacular, and I'm glad that he got to animate that fight, I feel like he could have had a much bigger match. To be his final animation. And there's no other better way. But for the rematch. Of all rematches. Link versus Cloud 2. Everything from the progression. To the animation. To the man who helped 3D animations. To be awesome in death battle. The meaning behind it all. Is what it makes. This. My number one most wanted thing for Link vs. Cloud 2. And just like that, we are finished with the list. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you want to see more of these most wanted things I want to see videos, then let me know in the comments below. I had fun making this list since Link vs. Cloud 2 means a lot to me. And I want it to be something that was extremely worth the wait. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.